Hello and welcome back to C Natural DIY. My name is Sylvia. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this cold processed liquid soap, aka castor soap, without a crook pot or a slow cooker. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, press the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And for those of you that have been supporting my channel, thank you so much. I really do appreciate. So for this tutorial, um, stay tuned and connected with me on this channel because for this particular castor soap, I'll be using it to make dish wash, body wash, brightening body wash and face wash. So click the subscribe button if you've not done so and also remember to press the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload any of these videos I mentioned. So let's get started. So get started with this cold processed castor liquid soap tutorial. I have my oil and my distilled water measured out and my potassium hydroxide which is used for liquid soap and I'm adding my potassium hydroxide. At this point the water is cloudy but I'm going to keep it aside and I'll heat my oil. I'm using olive oil. Originally, castor soap is made with olive oil, but you can alternate with any oil of your choice. So after heating up my oil, I'm going to mix the oil. I'll pour it into my lime mixture. And with my immersion blender, I'm going to start blending it. So I'll keep blending. I'll blend for two minutes and I'll off my immersion blender to avoid burning the motor. Of the blender so I will blend and I will off it blend and off continuously this took me about 10 to 15 minutes to get trace So you have to be patient making this cold process castor soup. Make sure you're protected with your hand, your hand glove. Cover your hand, wear a long sleeve and also use a goggle in case of any splash. So I'll continue blending and after blending for five minutes, I'll cover and use a towel. You can use any clothes to cover it and leave it. And I left it for 30 minutes and coming back, this is what it looks like. We are gradually reaching trace. So I'll keep blending. So after covering it for 30 minutes and this is what it looks like and you can notice that it has separated the oil and the water is separated so i'll still keep blending it to mix it i'll keep blending this is a closer look of what it looks like At this point, I'm covering it again and I'll leave it for another one hour. So after covering it 
for one hour. This After is covering it for one hour, here's what my soap looks like. You will notice that the water and the oil are separated, but this is okay, not to worry. I'm going to continue blending it. As I'm blending, I'm also offing my hand blender and I will cover for 30 minutes and I will come back to check. At this point, this is the consistency and how it looks like. And I cover this again for another 30 minutes. And here's what it looks like after 30 minutes. I'm also going to cover it again and leave it now for 24 hours. So guys, after 24 hours, this is what my castor soup looks like. I'm going to do a clarity test at this point. I'm going to add distilled water, hot distilled water over it, then to check if it's cloudy or not. So at this point, after mixing it, if it's cloudy, I'm going to leave it for another 24 hours. But if it's, if it's clear, it means that our soap is ready. So guys, very clear. So the next is to dilute my soap. So here are the measurements on the screen. You can also choose to use only water instead of adding glycerin like I did here. But I want to benefit from the moisturizing effect of glycerin. That's why I use glycerin and water. But you can also choose to use only water. So at this point, I'm going to use a clean film and cover it. And I will leave it for 24 hours to make sure the soap paste is dissolved. Here is the leftover from my soap. It has a shelf life of 1 to 2 years. And in a clean airtight container, I'm going to put my soap paste and put it in the freezer. Whenever I need it, I'll bring it out and dilute part of it just like I did in this video. Soap after 24 hours of leaving it and also if you're making the soap and notice after 24 hours you're still seeing some particles of soap it's advised you cover it again and leave it and let it sit for another day but for this particular tutorial after 24 hours this is what my soap looks like and this is the consistency i wanted that's why i use the glycerin like i mentioned earlier so guys at this point my soap is ready the next thing I'm going to do now is to pour it into a clean container and use it, start using it straight away or when I want to make my face wash and brightening body wash and I'm going to measure out this diluted um, castor soap and add other ingredients. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any question or concern, please don't, don't forget to use the comment section. Let me know your comments, your thoughts and feeling about the soap. Would you want to try it? Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.